we all have got questions, questions, who's got the questions? Um, I feel like there's been a lot of physical stuff this season, like more so than you guys have done in the past, is that going on? So how did you guys prepare for that going into it? Do you do a lot of your own stunts? Did it require a little bit more? Was it available before going back? It's a mix. We get to uh, we get to do some of our own when it's safe. We have some people who are very very capable, very impressive. So they, they said, uh, and we have a, we have a good stunt room to work with and uh, work in. And uh, I mean, our stunt team is infinitely more uh, impressive than we deserve. Like a, a permanent team, uh, you know, and yeah. they're they're dedicated to just at the end of the day making us and characters look good, you know. And, and, in return, it makes them look good. So, for, I remember you, I don't know if that happened yet, you have a scene that's like oh, it's really up. good. Yeah, it's coming yeah, up. Yeah, that so worked incredible. It was I mean, cool. Yeah. Everyone's very physically capable. Obviously, Isaiah's very physical, and Harry's very physical, so they had a great opportunity to use these people who are so skilled in this area already. And that's, that's lucky. Dario is the best basketball player on our uh, cast. He, he got he got a basketball uh, uh, in, 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 in the stunt room. Yeah. But I, I bought it with the room. It's great. It's great. It's, yeah. great. it's awesome. What can you tell us about each of your characters, what's to come these last couple of episodes? Because we saw them like the sizzle reel for the final episode that it's going to get a little intense. We're going to lose someone by the end of it. So what's to come for you guys? Um, I mean, within reason, what can we say? I think there is some resolution for our characters. Does yours end up in a, in a res resolved scenario, or is it? I'm, honestly, I'm blanking on what I know where I stand at the end. Yeah, but what's the actual? Oh, mm. oh, I mean, that's, 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 <laughs> we can't oh, say. Oh, oh. right. Yeah. I, I oh, you yeah. know what I'll say about. Uh, Luke is that you see a side of him that you're like, oh, yeah, I, I, I like that. this side. I remember I hope you that. see oh. more of that. And I mean, that, that's really all I can say. But yeah. the, that's the fun side of uh, being able to go through something, I think, together collectively, where you kind of go like hit a little bit of rock bottom. You don't get resolved all the way. Though. You don't. I just realized that you do not. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, actually, it's it gets it heightens at the end for yeah. me. Yeah. His goes up. But a lot of covering up. A lot of covering up. Yeah, but yeah, lots of moving through the bush. Yes. Camouflage. I've got more. <laughs> cool. Um, I mean, trust is a really big thing, too. Uh, with lots of like, great jobs and stuff like that, especially. So, who would you say is the most trustworthy character on the show? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Slow down. Slow. Because, I mean, Sorry. I don't want to point out. I mean, <laughs> Simon is the most trustworthy because he's incapable of <laughs> deceit. Yeah. yeah, deception. I don't see Luke ever lying, but he is. He no, but he does it. He does it for a reason. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, <okay>. <laughs> Didn't <laughs> I deceive you? You <laughs> deceived me. Oh, you, you totally did. Deceived me. I snuck around. But for good reason, too. though. I think everyone has a reason to deceive. Everyone has a reason. And I think, you know, it's justified in their own world, and I think that's what makes right. it interesting. Because everyone who's watching can kind of side with, you know, for reason. Yeah, for reason behind it. You might be right or wrong in someone else's eyes, but any day it's just a You yeah. always justify You're right. You get more time. It beats the storyline. Hard to see. What are you guys looking forward to for season three? I'm just looking forward to season three. I, I'm I'm so curious to what's gonna happen now. Well, you can get a love interest apparently. Apparently, yes. And then he told us all what, which book we should kind of like loosely take a look at. Um, I have no clue what they're going to do. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. I feel like they do that. They put that out there, and then you start looking into it, and you're like, oh yeah, that's that's what I'm going through. And they're like, nope. <laughs> We're changing this. <laughs> You guys do though when you get teased in terms of like scripts or even what a showrunner might say in passing, like, hey, heads up about this. Do you go Google or do you like? Well, what do you mean in terms of figuring out where that matches into the? Yeah, yeah. Uh, how to prepare for that emotionally or mentally? For, for me, it's yeah. not really. I don't do it until like see a script. Someone can say something to you, but it's yeah. it's not really fully like you can't you can't take it as possible, you know. You have to look at the script, and at, even at that moment, things might not make sense, and you kind of have to start talking to, to the writers and, and the directors to kind of shift it in a, in a way that's going to line up with the character and the story. Yeah. So, yeah.
you all here. I really like that you guys. No. Uh, so we know that you two kind of have Ted Warlock, head of the Institute. How much clashing will we see for the rest of this season in? Possibly in season three. You're on the right track. Yeah. I can't <laughs> Should it be something positive we should be looking forward to, or are fans going to be like, I think oh, no. it depends on your perspective on positive. Yeah. Because <laughs> if you like, uh, if you like drama, yeah. then you might like it. If you don't like drama, then uh, you might have a hard time. Because I, I think when these two characters are going through this kind of crossroad of like, who do I protect? Like these people that have that are that are kind of look the same. You know that we have this kind of same blood, or whatever. And now trying to figure out like this person that I'm in love with. Like how do I tell them? Like hey, I got to take care of my brothers. And I think that's when the trauma really comes into it. And I think that those elements, like for Alec, for example, you know, Magnus is important to him, extremely important to him. But he neglected his sister in a situation where she was in incredible, needed help and he didn't notice. And that's, that, was, uh, that was ignored. So he has to sort of recognize that his priorities have to sit with many people. You know, nobody is sitting on an island with one other person or sitting on their own. There's lots of people there. And uh, Alec is not be good at that, so he's going to see how balancing those various parts ends up resulting in conflict with maybe each. Were you guys taking Sorry, the positive? last question. Were you guys taking out the positive? The ending? I take all things as positive. <laughs> I think everyone, everyone's, everyone, when they make a decision to do something, has has a reason behind it, and, and you think you're right until. It's a, it's a saying you always judge people for their actions. You judge yourself by your intentions, and that's because we're looking at what people have done, not what they were planning on doing, how they thought it through. Because we don't think about. And also how it made them feel. Yeah. Who's this new man over here? What? So intelligent, like <laughs> thought out, and just like you have all these answers. Like what else? Tell me. <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now. Drink lots of water. Like, I'm so, like, every every one of your answers, I'm just like, wow, that's really thought out. Hey, 